Good afternoon. Dr. Travis Wiley here, natural health care practitioner and chiropractor, coming to you today to talk about something that I think is very exciting. It's five strategies that you can implement in order to have optimal health throughout your entire life. Now, this may be uh, for building optimal health. It could be that you're facing some health challenges right now, and so your goal is, I want to improve my health, I want to achieve optimal health, or your goal could be that you're already healthy, you feel great, and you wanna maintain and keep that optimal health throughout your entire life. You know, I believe that today it has never been harder than, than any other time in history than it is right now to stay healthy. Now, you know, in the past, in, in the historical times, you know, we've had our challenges. Certainly mankind has had challenges when it comes to staying healthy, whether it be from saber-toothed tigers or from uh, famine that uh, wipes out the food supply of the world or from terrible plagues that wipe out millions of people. But I still believe that today it's more of a challenge than any other time. And the reason for that, I think a big cause for that is because of the a tremendous amount of toxins that are in our environment and in our, uh, in our world today. Uh, I've recently read that there are over 80,000 approved chemicals that, that companies and people can use in our society today. These are chemicals used in our manufacturing of, you know, certainly of food, but just in the general manufacturing process, you know, like in our clothing, in our carpeting, in our cars, you know, cleaning uh, personal products, clean personal care products, all of these things, over 80,000 chemicals that we're being exposed to on a regular basis. So what can you do in order to, to maximize your health or to have optimal health throughout your entire life. Well, in my 35 years of experience, these are the five things that I think are probably the most important. There are other things that are important, but I think these are probably the most important. So first of all, number one is you want to eat clean. You want to have a clean, healthy diet uh, as much as possible. By all means, you want to avoid eating any and all processed foods, uh, any kind of, you know, packaged foods. Uh, these are generally speaking loaded with, uh, with you know, preservatives, with uh, food additives, uh, flavor enhancers, texturized, texture enhancers, all of these things that your bodies don't need. So you want to eat clean as much as possible. Eat real food. Eat, you know, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. You want to eat good, wholesome cuts of meat, you know, beef, pork, chicken, turkey, fish. If you're vegetarian, make sure you're eating, you know, a good farm fresh eggs and drinking whole milk. Preferably you want to be drinking, you know, raw milk if you can find raw milk as much as possible. Uh, make sure you're eating healthy nuts and, and, and oils and fats in your diet. Uh, you know, certainly nuts, but avocados, coconut oil, olive oil, all of these things, and you know, butter, make sure you're eating these things to give your body as much uh, good foundation uh, of oil and fats that it can possibly have. So eat clean, that's the first thing. Number two is you want to take good, healthy vitamins and supplements, uh, preferably whole food supplements. You know, I think it's pretty much agreed upon that everybody needs some sort of supplementation today. Uh, the real question is, what kind of supplements are you taking? Uh, please realize that most of the supplements sold in this country today are fake vitamins. I mean, they're not even real. They're fake vitamins that are produced in a lab. They're manufactured from, you know, from, from petroleum sources. So, you know, they're not even from food sources. And while these vitamins, when you take them, they may give you a little burst of energy. You may feel better for a while. But eventually, if you continue to take these fake vitamins, they will deprive your body of other nutrients that it's using up in order to metabolize those fake vitamins. Uh, you'll eventually get into deeper nutritional problems if you continue to take these artificial synthetic vitamins. So if you're going to take supplements, you want to take real whole food, uh, you know, healthy organic supplements as much as possible. Number three, the third thing you can do to, to really optimize your health is drink water. Drink plenty of good, fresh, clean, either spring water or at the, at the minimum filtered water every single day. I recommend that your, your beverage list needs to be very short. You know, water, maybe some unsweetened, uh, you know, black coffee or coffee with creamer or bulletproof coffee is great. Uh, unsweet tea. 
you know, but mostly water. You can have herbal teas, certainly, you know, hot teas are very, can be very good for the body. But you want to avoid, obviously, all sodas, any kind of sugary drinks, including uh, diet sodas, anything with artificial sweeteners. You want to avoid um, any kind of power drinks, you know, like sports drinks, power drinks, uh, you know, so-called, you know, vitamin water that's, you know, these are just gimmicks. They're gimmicks to sell products, but when it comes to promoting health and really building health, they don't do a whole lot. So avoid all the the, 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 the drinks, products that are out there. Stick with water. And I'm going to add in that juice as well, because even though juice, you know, especially fresh squeezed juice can have its benefits, its health benefits, by and large, there's too much sugar in juice to be drinking it every day. So if you do drink juice occasionally, make it, you know, six ounces, small amounts, small quantities, and then just do it occasionally. All right, the fourth thing you can do in order to optimize your health is avoid all medications. I mean prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, avoid all medications. Now, obviously, there is a time and a place for medications. You know, I have taken medications myself, you know, for short periods of time when I was trying to deal with some health challenge or deal with some acute situation uh, like an infection or something like that. So, you know, there are times when medications are necessary, but just be aware that when it comes to long-term health and healing, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're going to be better off to avoid all medications. Healthy people don't need medications on a daily basis. Not even a Tylenol or an ibuprofen or, you know, something for like an aspirin for pain or certainly not the, you know, Tums or Rolaids. If you're having to take any of those sort of things on a daily basis, you need to come see me. If you're taking any kind of over-the-counter medication on a regular daily basis, you need to come see me so we can fix your body and get you off of those things. All of these medications, almost all of them, act as toxins on the body. So if you want to optimize your health throughout your lifetime, you need to avoid any and all medications as much as possible. And the fifth thing that you need to do in order to stay healthy and optimize your health, you need to get regular chiropractic adjustments. You know, over my lifetime, there, there have been periods, you know, in my life where I didn't eat as healthy as I do today. You know, when I was younger and I was in my 20s and in my 30s, just like young people today, I thought I was bulletproof. You know, I thought I, I could go on forever. And I ate, you know, I used to eat a lot of fast food and junk food and chips and I drank sodas. You know, so I've done a lot of unhealthy things when it comes to my diet and nutrition over the years. But the one thing that has been most consistent, I would say, is I have been consistent with getting regular chiropractic adjustments. I've been getting adjustments as ever since I was a child. I grew up going to the chiropractor getting adjustments. That's why I became a chiropractor. I've had literally thousands of chiropractic adjustments in my life. I added them up and at one point a few years ago, it was over 2,500 and I've had a bunch since then. 2,500 adjustments in my lifetime. And I believe that when it comes to promoting good health, you want to keep your spine and your nervous system as healthy as it can be. And I don't have a, the time, I'm not going to take the time to go into a full chiropractic uh, webinar here or seminar. But, you know, basically you want to keep the communication in the brain, down the spine, going to all of this body. You want to keep that communication as close to 100% as possible because that's how the body's sending messages back and forth through the brain. And it's a continual two-way communication system that's keeping everything in balance. Whenever you get subluxation, those vertebrae go out of place, well, then that can actually put stress on your nervous system that can interfere with that transmission of those nerve impulses. And that can lead to a lowered state of health in the body. So if you want to stay as healthy as you can to optimize your health throughout your lifetime, by all means, you want to be getting regular chiropractic adjustments. So those are my five strategies for maintaining and keeping uh, optimal health. Uh, how are you doing on them? You know, as I go over these, was there one or two of them that you thought, oh, I'm not doing very well there and I need to improve that? Well, good. Then if that's what you notice, then, you know, 
get on it. Get on it. What, what is it going to take for you to, to, to put that into place, to, to clean up that little area of your life? Maybe you just need to call us and maybe it's come down and get an adjustment. Maybe it's been a while since you've been adjusted. Uh, maybe you need to stop drinking the sodas and drink more water. Maybe you need to get off the chips or some junk food, whatever your favorite junk food is. Pick one thing and make a small start today to make a change. I promise, promise you, you'll, you'll feel better and you'll be glad that you did. And if you need help, if you need some support, that's what I'm here for. We are here, me and my team here at England Chiropractic and Nutrition, we are here to support you in your journey to good health. So if you're interested in improving your health and in making your health better, by all means, give us a call. Come in and let's sit down. We always offer a free consultation to sit down and talk and see if we might be a good fit if, uh, if what we do here is something that's right for you. All right, that's all I have for today. I appreciate you watching and listening. And until the next video, bye.